Today's topic, free tomatoes. I've been doing a ton of gardening in the past couple of days, so I finally made it over to this sort of lost spot around the back of the house that we don't pay that much attention to. Last summer, this is where we had a bunch of pots of tomatoes, and apparently some of those little tomatoes must have fallen on the ground and rotted and left their seeds behind. In this mess of weeds, we have several tomato plants that we're going to pull up and transplant. Do you see them? Here I have my junior gardener helper. Are you going to help me? Okay, let's get to it. What? You didn't see any tomato plants? You just saw a bunch of weeds? Well, the weeds are gone, and those are the tomato plants. Let's take a closer look. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, what do we do next, Gardener Neve? Um, Should we gently dig them up and transplant them? Yeah. Yes. Now, Neve, did you know that tomatoes have all these little fuzzy hairs on their stems? And those will actually sprout longer and be a more secure root structure if you bury the stem down deeper in the dirt. Did you know that? No. There you go. There's the first one. Let's go find a pot for it. All right, Neve, you have a big pot of dirt there. First, dig a nice deep hole. There's your nice deep hole. Now put the roots way down in it. Now what we'll need to do is pull off those lower branches because they would get buried. So before you put the plant in, pull off this branch and that branch. All right, you've got the tomato way down deep in the hole. Now push the dirt in around it. I bet Autumn will love these. I bet she will. All right, Neve's giving them a good water. Our little seedlings have transplanted. We'll see how many of them actually survive and grow us some fabulous tomatoes. Neve, you want to give your lettuce farm a water too? I just found in our little lettuce farm some seedlings that I think are petunias from seeds that were dropped the last time we had petunias in this planter, I think. I'm not 100% sure, but we'll see what they grow into. And now Autumn has joined us to water these little transplants. We'll come back and check on these in a few days and see if they've survived the transplant. We have nine little seedlings just back here. So I think we have about 15 total. On a similar note, we went to an earth fair last weekend and we got a whole mess of free zinnia seeds. They just kept giving us packet after packet after packet. So we tossed a bunch of zinnia seeds in these planters here, and amazingly enough, nature has taken its course and they have sprouted. You may recall these dead, dying, horrible impatiens Daddy pulled out of a dumpster. These were dead. These had no flowers on them. They were drooping. They were awful. And with a little bit of water, they have completely come back to life. So frugal flowers from the dumpster. And free strawberries. You know how strawberry plants send off these little runners, these little baby strawberry plants? And you have to trim off the runners or else the mama strawberry plant won't make any fruit because she's too busy taking care of her baby runner plants. So you snip them off, but these are the beginnings of new strawberry plants. So we put these in this little tiny flower bed area outside the back door where Nothing really ever grows well, and it's always just a bit of a mess. And we're going to see if this can become a strawberry patch. They're looking kind of sad and droopy at the moment, but we'll check back in a few days and see if they have survived the transplanting process. See you soon! All right, one week has gone by. Let's check out how things are doing in the garden. Here's our little strawberry patch. It's all right. I'm really not sure how well these are doing. The problem is the dog keeps pulling them up and running around the yard with them. See, there goes a dog. But still, they are somewhat alive. And here we go with our wee little baby tomato transplants. They're all still alive. I think I need to put them in a sunnier spot, though. Here are a couple more of our tomato transplants doing mighty fine. And here are some of our little zinnia seedlings. They seem to have sprouted just fine. 
more little zinnia seedlings in these pots. Zinnias, little mystery petunias growing just fine with the lettuce, and the rest of our little tomato transplants. So all in all, I'd say that's pretty successful for my free flowers, my free tomato plants, and possibly some transplanted strawberries. Go nature! Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.